this is industrial surplus and we are here in a uh, aerospace machine facility in Connecticut videotaping an Akuma MC50H full four axis CNC horizontal machining center it's a 50 millimeter uh, pallets two pallets doing a dry run right now Demonstrating the machine is in great running condition. The only reason they're getting rid of the machine is because they need uh, uh, more capacity in the products that they're producing and this machine no longer meets that need. It's equipped with a 50 uh, taper, cat 50 taper spindle nose. It also has a 50 position tool changer. It has an extra set of pallets show you those in a second. Nice blood pooling. The Puma OSP 5000 M CNC control. was last calibrated. They have these machines uh, calibrated and tested and inspected uh, every other year. It was last calibrated in uh, November of 2009 and uh, it, you know it's just a, an incredibly well-maintained machine that is uh, in perfect running condition. The uh, front cover open just because we're doing a dry run. Uh, this is only for demonstration purposes. If they were actually machining, the door would be closed. get me wet <laughs> but he didn't at least you know the coolant works <laughs> Because they have other machines with a 50 tapered spindle, uh, the tooling that is on this machine does not go with it. Uh, they will need that. It's uh, A lot of it is set up and specific to their operations. So uh, no, no tooling will be included other than the pallets. Do a quick walk on the side here. Show you the uh, chip conveyor end here. Does have a chip conveyor. <laughs> Pull and pump and tank. This is the cage that uh, has the tool changer system. Then I uh, count it up. I think there's 50 positions. Too manually. Here's 
uh, the control itself. Here's the hour meter uh, on time. Is 98,331 hours and runtime is 2682. 20, that's 2682 cutting hours. The machine was built new in 1985. <coughs> Has a uh, serial port, parallel port. I think inside here there might be a uh, another thing. Another uh, port here. They don't use tapes. Okay. Yeah. Download from the uh, computers in the office. You can see that uh, they probably came in through the serial port here. Got a uh, looks like a spindle chiller. Name tag here, model MC50H. Lubrication system. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do the pallet change now. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we have to do automatic, not the automatic, by, by you know, manual. Okay. We can do that. Okay. We're going to do a uh, manual pallet change here just to show that it does work. This is a, uh, if I could show you around, which I can't, uh, it's a really uh, extremely high-end aerospace repair facility. Uh, they do uh, machine parts, of course, and uh, it's just a well-maintained, super clean shop. This is the kind of machine you, you'd hope to uh, find available for sale. <coughs> Just waiting for him to uh, get the pallet changer to go and position. to grab it.
the uh, inside of the spindle. And like I said, there are uh, two extra pallets. Uh, I can't show them to you. Uh, they're up on a uh, shelf with some parts, but uh, they look obviously just like those. That's enough of that machine. I will uh, step back and just kind of uh, finish it up here. And that will be it. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to uh, uh, seriously consider this machine, we can demonstrate it to you under power. And uh, please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.